Hey guys, uh, I thought I'd make a wee lesson on different kind of warm up uh, sort of exercises I kind of use. Um, I use them a lot with my private students and I use them myself just to kind of get the fingers going. Um, so I think most people are probably familiar with a classic um, kind of chromatic 1, 2, 3, 4 kind of pattern where you play like, you know, just playing 1, 2, 3, 4 with the 1st, 2nd, 3rd and 4th fingers. Keep it strict alternate picking if you want as well, down, up, down, up. And you do like 1, 2, 3, 4 on the E string, 1, 2, 3, 4 on the A string, so forth. You know, that's quite a common one. No, it's not musical. I mean, sometimes people say about warm ups, um, uh, you know, being musical, whatever exercise is being musical. To me, a warm up isn't really an exercise as such, it's not a musical exercise, it's more of a getting the body going. So if you were like a dancer or something, you would warm up the muscles before you start dancing, before you start expressing yourself. It's like the same with the guitar. So to me, um, these little things, they're, uh, depending on what music you play, I suppose, they're not exactly musical, but they really uh, push the fingers. So that one, two, three, four pattern is very common, um, but it's quite straightforward and you typically, um, that kind of sequential, it's almost like drumming your fingers on top of the table, it's very, very easy, you know, it's not exactly going to push the hands or the, the brain the connection to the fingers. So what I like to do is change that up by doing different permutations of one, two, three, four. So instead of doing like one, two, three, four, you could try a permutation of like one, three, two, four, okay? So you do like one, three, two, four, all the way up. Back down. Keep your strict alternate picking there as well if you want, you know. Um, so that's you know any permutation start with that first finger. You could also do um, permutation start from the second finger. So I could do something like two one three four. You know, and yeah, I played that one a little bit quicker, but it's not about playing these things fast, it's about playing them clean and accurately so you can hear the notes nice and clearly. Uh, you can also start with the third finger, so you could do like a permutation like a 3, 1, 4, 2 maybe. You know, and then you can start something with a fourth finger, you could do 4, 3, 2, 1 if you want. But you could also do something like, you know, 4, 1, 3, 2. Any permutation you want of those numbers 1, 2, 3, 4. So that um, is great because it gets you to kind of draw these different sequences uh, finger combinations, and no matter what your playing scale is, you may, you know, want to try, uh, you know, a scale pattern. You know, it doesn't require just going down the scale. You know, so it's quite handy for that. Uh, another little twist I like to put in it. We were just doing a permutation in each and um, all strings. If you really want to up the ante, you can change the permutation. So you could do something like. Uh, like if you're going to do like two permutations, so I'm going to do like a one, two, three, four on the E, A, and D strings, and then on the G, B, and E strings, I'll do a two, one, three, four. So it goes one, two, three, four. You know, and then back down one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, two, one, three, four, two, one, three, four. Yeah. So this is getting working on warming up your brain connection to the fingers. You know, as easy as reading words off the page. You want to be able to just say move, you know, subconsciously move finger, almost as if you were reading the numbers off the page. You could just kind of play it, and the the uber way of doing that is to change it every string. You know, so I could do like a one two three four two one three four three one four two, you know, four two three one. You know, and just changing the pattern as you go up all the strings, and that begins to you know get into that uh, area where your fingers are complete control. There's no fingers that don't move when you don't want them to. Uh, another little thing I like to do, instead of just playing it a permutation on one string, is split it across a pair of strings. So if I was doing one, two, three, four, I could split it across the E and A strings. So I could do one in the E string, two in the A string, three in the E string, four in the A string. Now I quite like that because it works on the finger permutation as usual, but it also works on the string crossing, what you're picking. If you use an alternate picking. So if you were doing one, two, three, four all the way up, you'd have like one, two, three, four. Then when I come back down, I do the same thing. I do one, two, three, four, but from the higher string to the lower string. So it's one in the E, two in the B, three in the E, uh, four in the B. Yeah. 
and then of course any permutation you come up with, the awkward one, the more awkward the better, you know, like a 2 one the so 2 4 three, one maybe. You know? Anything that uh, pushes your control, because that's the whole point about warming up, you want to kind of push those kind of boundaries. Um, and of course you could take that even further by doing like uh, string skips. Yeah. Put more pressure and warming up the kind of right hand, you know. Uh, another permutation I like to do which really works the right hand is doing across the strings. So instead of doing, you know, one, two, three, four along the string, I might do it maybe starting at the third fret on the A string, do one, two, three, four across the strings. So that'd be like, you know, um, third fret A string, the second finger, uh, first finger, second fingers in the fourth fret the D, third fingers in the fifth fret the G, and my fourth finger there is on that uh, sixth fret of that B string. And then uh, alternate pick that down, up, down, up, and then I kind of flip it round, coming down, something like the third, fourth, fifth, and sixth frets of the B, G, uh, D, and A strings, respectively. So that'd be a nice little thing to do. And then move it up a fret. You know, and go on forever if you want, but basically. That really works on this, you know, outside picking because you're doing like down and up. So you're working on the picking the outside of the strings. And then when you come down the way, it's inside picking. So with alternate picking, you're always doing a combination of that, you know, some outside picking, some inside picking. Now, if you really want to go for it, this is quite good for warming up um, your fingers if you need to do kind of big crazy chords or anything, you know. Uh, per you know, do permutations of one, two, three, four. So I could do like a 1, 3, 2, 4, and what I'm doing there is I'm playing 1 in the A string, 3 in the D string, 2nd fingers in the G, and then my 4th fingers in the B. And then when I come down I just flip it around. You know, you know any permutation you can go up with. Uh, you know, like a, a three, two, four, one, maybe. You know, sounds great, but you know the whole point of this is the some mad um, uh, kind of finger twisting way to get those fingers warmed up. Most of the time, you're not going to be doing these kind of crazy things, but it gets you kind of um, trying all these different uh, variants. So then, when you are ready to play or practice and do exercises or whatever, you kind of moved in all kind of movements of direction, you know, so your fingers are ready to go, you know. So that's another thing I like to do, just to take it across the strings. Um, and if you want, you could do, you could go up from the E string, start on the A string, start on the, uh, the D string, whatever. Now, if you do find that that's quite a stretch, playing these sort of exercises down this part of the neck, just move them up elsewhere in the neck, because the frets get closer together, so you could try it up at the ninth fret. I mean, it's not really where you play, it's just to get a, get these kind of finger permutations going. It's nice to do it down this area of the fingerboard because you do get a bit of a stretch, you know, so it's kind of doing a bit of a stretching exercise, doing a bit of a finger control exercise, a little bit of right hand picking exercise, you know, it kind of combines all these uh, different things as a warm up. So thanks for watching, hopefully that will be some use to you. Um, don't, you know, pull anything or break anything or put anything in a knot when you're doing these sort of exercises. Just be nice and relaxed when you're going with it and, um, you know, you may find that they kind of work themselves into your practice routine.